uh, Mr. T or Mr. Taylor, is this a tough game to play for these teams? Because you played it when you were the coach of Poland. And then you have to kind of just compete and do your very best. And, you know, for both of these teams, we'll see where they can finish. But we're underway in the Mall of Asia here in Manila, Slovenia against Italy in the battle for seventh place. And Mike Toby on the baseline hits his first jumper. Tonu back outside. They get another open look, and this time Spisu knocks it down. The two NBA stars guarding each other. Now the ball gets away. Mele drives in and dunks it with two hands. Toby. Quick start for Mike Toby. Nikola's called for the second pick and roll, drew the switch, and a nice finish from Toby. Montecchio, well, meanwhile, back on the court after a missing. Trying to finish his World Cup strong. Oh, what about that? The putback dunk from Achille. Oh, Nelly fumbled it. Polinara rushed it a little bit, but good work from Melly. And another layup for Polinara. Repelich. Jiga Samar is going to come into the game early today. Here is Tonu. Hey, Jeff, just no awareness. Did you notice how his reverse layup that we got so excited about the other day got on the highlight reel? Here goes Doncic. Hey, Jeff, that's beautiful deceleration. Well, you willed it to happen because... So some of the Italian fans here Hoping their team can get the victory today. Leave on a winning note. Doncic nails the three. I know what you mean, though. Wonder how long, how old Luca was when he started beating him. Here's Fontecchio. Another three for him. It's a two, in fact. I thought it was a three, but it's feet were. Here is another bucket for Italy. Richie. Spain pick and roll action with a big man that's me setting the back screen. And they're going to count that. Nice drive for Zorn Dragons. They want to kind of get up and down and play freely. So if you put some defensive effort in, you know, you can make runs on them. Dragons hustles down the court. Oh, nice cut. Slovenia, Sebastian left him. And we see Doncic subs out. That basket for Richie took him to four points. Here's an inbounds pass. And Gregor Glass comes in. Quickly to the other end, Slovenia. And they tried to pass it to Toby Samar. And Richie goes down the lane. He gets an in one. Everything is settled over there on that Slovenia bench. Just judging from the reaction of uh, Zoran Dragic after the turnover and the foul. Look at that. Toby from deep. A couple easy early baskets and now hitting a three. He's playing with a lot of confidence. His production is important. How about Stefano Tonut? Now Dragic flies in. Spisu. Toby for the second time in the game tries to get a foul. They don't call it. Pass batted away. And oh, good follow from Brochina. 31 years of age. And the layup for Shiga Demons. So this is a great set coming out of the timeout. Good pass. Melly hemmed in on the baseline, gets it outside, and the three-pointer for Spisu. He's a spark. He is a spark. Spisu the spark. Doncic passes out of trouble to Prepilic. High arcing three. Melly has to put up a rush shot, fading, and misses everything. <laughs> what a pass to the young Prepilic. Oh, 
What a bounce pass from Luca, and it rolls around the rim and falls. Luca Doncic. And again, give credit to Coach Sekulic for putting Luca as the screener to give Italy a different look. They've gotten some good offense out of this action. And the putback is good for Polinara. Goes behind his back. He sat in the middle of the lane and read the play. That's back. That's good. I just want to say the respect that we had for last World Cup when Scola, at 41 years old, was so great. And the Argentina team beat us. Slovenia with a one-point lead. Luka Doncic. Finds his way in and scores over Nicolo Melli. Boy, good save by Toby. Or rather, Doncic again, right down the lane. And we, you know. Horvat. And Italy. Eight points of difference. Spisu tries to spark his team. He passes to the corner. And Fontecchio right out of the timeout. Again, look at Fontecchio push Doncic out of position to receive the pass. Kobe from deep. Oh! Good luck bounce. Yeah, the referees won't allow that play to finish before they make that call. There is Doncic! Look out! He's heating up! Spisu from the baseline. Oh, how about Polonara? Doncic. His movement draws the defenders, and all he has to do is hand it off to Mike Tovey. He's one of those supporting cast members that can make a play. He's a great defender. Dragic! But if you pass up open shots, it disrupts the rhythm of your yeah, team. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I agree. Can Italy come back and win this game? Seems a bit awkward for him right now. Spisu from deep. Well, of course they can if it's the Spisu spark. It was amazing. He played so well. Here's Luca downtown. You know it. The crowd erupts again. The Spisu spark. Will he have the answer? <laughs> yes, he will. And Spisu is threatening to take over. Spagnolo. Richie from the baseline, nice shot from Richie. He's a keeper, he'll be in this team for a while. And the ball turns over, now a break for Italy, 3-1, bounce pass, and how about that? And a foul as well, Fontecchio. Five point game. Doncic steps back, another three. Fontecchio for three, that's short. They get it back. Fontecchio does not miss two in a row. And again, the activity of Ricci and the percentages of a second attempt like that go way up. And another chance, here comes Melli. As the Coolidge wants a timeout. Remember, it was the Spisu spark that got Italy moving in the right direction. Gets it to Melli. Bounce pass, Ricci! Oh, what a block from Demons! So now Italy running a second defender at Doncic. Look at him just play with poise. Oh, good hands. They force the turnover. And Melli for the dunk. Run a second defender at Doncic. Nikolic from downtown. That was big, Alexi Nikolic. There's Fontecchio. How about that, Mike? I don't know what it is about these classification games, but they have really been coming to life late. Doncic tries to get the foul. No whistle, three on one break. Spisu pulls up, clangs it. And the rebound and put back is there, and Italy have tied it. Nikolic. Chavacic, it looks good. It is good for number 55. Post reaction from Doncic and teamwork. Big three on the backside. Oh, what a drive from Spagnolo. And 
There is D-Match putting it up and in. Spisu for three! What a thrilling finish. Bounce pass, Spisu! And he ties it! Great pass, Melly. Hard show, trap. Oh boy, look at that, the steal, Spagnolo. Here comes Izuri. He pulls up. He follows, Renzi follows. And Italy have taken the lead. Two players on Doncic. Here's Doncic. Chabashik, wide open, good! And Kev. Most of them chanting defense, defense, but Italy, the bit between the teeth, Oh, and they call a charge on Fontecchio. But Horvat clearly tried to pick up the unsportsmanlike by hooking the arm. The reason being, you want them to have to make more plays than just one shot. Sometimes they don't, though. Italy got to go quick. They want to take the three. Will they allow it? Oh, and it goes off of Fontecchio's hands. Can you believe it? If he makes one, it's effectively a two-possession game. You never know, 6.9 seconds. You would look for Slovenia to foul right away. He makes it, so now Slovenia definitely do not want to foul. No, they're going for a three. And, no, oh, they didn't get it. They put it up quickly, and that's how it's going to finish. Spagnolo missing. So Slovenia hold on.